Geronimo! Still there. Woo! Yep, I'm still on the hunt for the perfect set of wireless headphones. Next up, these. These are by Blitzwolf. Hmm, let's see what these are like. So if you've watched my videos for some time, you'll know that I am on the constant hunt for the perfect set of headphones or earphones, especially wireless earphones. Still haven't found the perfect set yet. So will this from Blitzwolf fit the bill? Blitzwolf, it's a familiar name. Well, if you're a regular viewer to my channel, then you'll have recognized it from this. This is a Blitzwolf Bluetooth speaker. Now, I'm very impressed with this. I have used it for several months now. Even my wife has taken it away in trips and even our friends have commented on how capable this little speaker is. So the brand name goes with a good reputation, especially, well, in my household anyway. So I was intrigued to see what these are like. So this is the back of the box, not much to mention here other than a QR code, which I believe takes you to the Blitzwolf website. These retail for £31.40. I uh, got these from banggood.com. They sent it to me. And they're also available in dollars in any other currency around the world. Just got to convert it from that. Weight-wise, it comes in at 60 grams, which is pretty light. So this is what you get in the box. You get a little pamphlet. You get some replacement earbuds if you've got smaller or larger ears. You get a charger cable, which is USB micro usb and you get the gear buds themselves now looking at the technical parameters uh, the only thing of any significance there that i can see is the charging time is 1.5 hours and the talking time is around about the same as the music time three hours and standby time is 77 hours oh and if you're interested the transmission distance, so that is how far you can take them away from your device and your iPhone or your iPod for them still to be functioning, is 33 feet, which is 10 meters. These are very much like the Apple EarPods, and what I mean by that is they're truly wireless, and when you take them out of the box, they pair straight away. Now this box is also self-charging, so when you put them back in, they will charge uh, up to four times, and they'll go from flat to fully charged in an hour and a half. So basically, as long as you have them in this box, and as long as you've got a green light there, uh, mine is at the very bottom, they've only got one green light left. Normally, I think there's four as in the four charges, so there's only one charge left at the moment, so I'll need to recharge that, just using a USB cable that plugs in the back. So charging of these is not gonna be a problem. Setting them up to your phone or your Bluetooth device, not a problem either. All you do is you take them out, and as soon as you take them out, they go into pairing mode, and then it's just a case of pairing them up onto your phone, get into your Bluetooth settings, and they'll come up. Really simple and really straightforward uh, in terms of pairing. And then when you're finished, you just put them back in the little case. Don't have to turn them off. No long press, nothing like that. That's how simple they are. So very, very convenient, these. I was impressed with how convenient they are. They do take phone calls and they do have a button on it for that. There is one button on it. And that is used for Siri. So if you want to use Siri with it, uh, you know, turn the volume up, turn the volume down, that sort of idea, ask for directions, then you'll be able to do it with a long press of the button there. And also you can answer calls as well. And some other functions as well, skip, repeat. You have to kind of remember what the synchronization is or what the steps are uh, in order to achieve that. So they do fit in your ears very, very well or very easily, I'm not sure about how well they look. That's very much a kind of personal thing. I'm not sure, I think I like them. I think they're pretty good. It's very, very personal taste 
when it comes to this, when it comes to uh, earphones, but they do sit in your ear very, very easily, even with any sort of exercise, which you'll see later on. Uh, I'll put it through a couple of tests to see if they're ever going to fall out. Phone call quality isn't bad, not the best, isn't bad. Uh, what I have found is if you're making long phone calls, do expect the other person on the other end of the, the phone to say that you may go into a kind of computer language. That's one of the down points of all the headphones that I've used that are wireless. After maybe 20 minutes, it does go through a, a kind of readjustment where your voice either uh, becomes distorted. Um, so I don't know whether that's them just, um, you know, finding their source again, but I do find that with a lot of wireless headphones that use Bluetooth, that once you use them for a long period of time uh, in a conversation, then they will become distorted, but just for a short period of time, and then they go away. From phone call's point of view, not bad, pretty good. For the price point, I would say, pretty good, but not excellent. So how well do they perform when it comes to staying in your ears? Well, we're going to do that now. This is that's just a bit of fun. I put them through a couple of tests. Okay, headphones are on. Geronimo! Still there? Try again! Geronimo! Still there! Woo! This is a simulation of jogging. There you go. <laughs> Full pass mark. Didn't fall out once. Uh, even attempted a jog. And uh, the jogging didn't go too well, but uh, they didn't fall out my, my ears, that's for sure. So if you want to go do a jogging, fair enough, they are sweat proof. So you'll be no problem with that. The only thing that we haven't talked about is sound quality. I've yet to find a truly wireless set of headphones in this kind of price market that is exceptional. Normally what happens is they're not very loud or they don't have much bass. And I'm afraid to say that these are exactly the same in that category. Yet, yeah, if you want to listen to spoken word, absolutely fine. Podcast, no problem. These are great. However, they're just not very loud. I always seem to listen to them on full volume. So there's no scope. So if you are getting into a louder environment, then there's no way up from where you would normally listen to. So that's my main gripe. And it's my main gripe with most of, of the truly wireless headphones is that the volume is just not very loud. Bass-wise, not too bad. Uh, not great, um, but, you know, okay, price point wise, probably average. Blitzwolf headphones, do I recommend them for £31? Why not? Because they're very, very convenient. You get four chargers out of them and they charge themselves very convenient. Put them into your ears and you're listening to music straight away. So I've got to give them plus marks for that. So there you go. That's my review of these Blitzwolf BWFYE1 true wireless headphones. Not bad for the price. Link is in the description if you're looking to buy them. And uh, the hunt goes on for the perfect set of truly wireless headphones. That's all I've got to say. So I hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, I recommend these Blitz, Blitz Wolf.
They are Blitzwolf. Sorry, apologize. Blitzwolf headphones. Do I recommend them? 